welcome to Dhaka. You can hear all the car honking. I think it's pretty overweight on this rickshaw, but I'm going. 10,000 meals a day. I'm now going to restrict the area. Wow, it smells so nice. Oh, I want to have one now. I have a sweet tooth. How many tons of chicken curry you make every day? Yeah. But I want to give them more, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm inside a truck now. This is the Biman hangar. I'm the only first view on engineer over here. This is got an expensive view of the airport, which is really great for plane spotting. It's all about the people I met here. You guys are so kind, and you guys gave me so much support and love. Sam Chui! And I really felt it in my heart. Welcome to Dhaka. This place is so crazy. Look at this. You can hear all the car honking non-stop. If you like chaos, you gotta come to Dhaka. They're building a road here, yeah. How long it take to build a road here? Long time, I think. Yeah. On the way to plane spotting and there is a factory here you know Bangladesh is very well famous for garments here so they're they're painting this t-shirt here in the factory just next to the uh, airport runway actually there's so much dust coming from the road you know, in the open space in the rickshaw <coughs> So now I'm gonna have my first rickshaw experience. He's gonna drive me on a manual rickshaw. I've never been on a rickshaw, first time. I think it's pretty overweight on this rickshaw, but I'm going. It's actually feels like going back 50 years ago, but love it. I was invited to visit the Beeman Flight Catering Center where they produce 10,000 meals a day. Let's check it out. Airline trolleys. Anyone need a trolley at home? Come in here, get one. Airline trolleys. This is the receiving area. So the goods uh, contractors are taken here. Oh, coffee here. Yes. Coffee. Nestle coffee. Oh, yes. This is like a airline catering Costco or airline catering Sam's Club, if you know what I mean. Look at all this. Huge, huge gallons of liters of gallons of soft drink and water. Like, guys, anyone love drinking Coke like me? <laughs> <laughs> so much here, wow. It's mango pickle. Yes. This is a special thing on Beeman. I have this yeah. on my flight from London. Yeah. Mango pickle. Yeah. yeah. This is too heavy, you can't carry it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> this is like 50 kilos, 100 pounds. So, this is coming into a cold storage room. What's the temperature like? Hi, I'm Minus five. Yeah, plus, five. plus five degrees. It's called number BG148 to Dubai. From Dubai, do not use. Oh, feta cheese. German, German white feta cheese. This is some cheese. This is, you can do the weightlifting here. Bigger, Australian. Wow, that's huge. Edam, this is the Arab famous household name. Oh, Brie. This is my favorite cheese, actually, Brie. Guys, now going to restrict the area. Let's check it out. They're making bread here. It smells nice. Bakery smell here. Wow, it smells so nice. 
just came out. It's still warm. You can feel the heat here. Ah, this is the rice pudding. The pudding is oh, this is sweet. Pudding. Rice pudding. Yes, rice pudding. It's a dessert item. Oh, I want to have one now. I have a sweet tooth, you know. Wow. This Beeman Catering must be the country's biggest bakery. Yes. Yeah, look at that. Freshly baked croissant. It's croissant. Smells great. Which kind of pastry do you like? Croissant, Danish, or just plain bread? They have it all here. Whole kitchen area that they make uh, for a fresh fruit cocktail. Uh, for uh, their uh, pineapple, papaya, grapes. Um, and uh, this one, uh, cucumber, fresh cucumber. This is made for uh, the fresh salad. This is actually green chili. Then my whole mouth will set on fire. Crazy, crazy fire. All salad must be green chili and a green um, uh, lemon slice and tomato, cucumber, capsicum. Smells really nice here. Oh yeah. This is the hot kitchen. Hot yeah. kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. So after the salad, the dessert, the bakery, now's the real stuff, the hot kitchen for the tummy. Oh, very nice, very nice. The chicken curry. This has just come out? Yeah. Oh, this is chicken curry. Chicken curry. How many tons of chicken curry you make every day? Every day flight supply uh, about 10,000, 11,000 mil. 400 kilo chicken curry. 400 kilo, kilo of chicken, chicken curry. curry. Yeah, this color uh, nice. Oh, this color. Good, good color. Let me take a picture of you there. Smile. Another choice, beef, mutton, mm. Vegetable, fish. Ah. Okay. This one, uh, beef butter. It smells so nice, this yeah. one. And this is vegetable this curry. Is, uh, mixed vegetable bhaji. Uh, mixed vegetable bhaji. bhaji. And all the things are recorded regarding the temperature and cooking time. Then uh, before 60 degrees, and this uh, item are sent to the blood chiller. I uh, sent to the chiller. Yeah, chiller. To chew in, down in, and in to chiller, refrigerate. Chiller cool yeah. down. It's five degree and within one and a half hours. And then these items are taken to the cold room. This is the way you cook the vegetable inside here. Yeah, vegetable. Oh, big one. Yeah, it's many tons here. Mix vegetable bhaji. Mix vegetable bhaji. Which are a potato, carrot, okay. and a capsicum. Oh. And other all together. So what is this machine here? This is boiling. Uh, boiling pan. Uh, boiling the water. Boiling water. Ah, uh, boiling water. And uh, this water. This water. Oh wow! Look at this. And then fifty liters capacity. This is in the cold chill room here, yeah. where they actually label says Monday. So all these has to be packed and consumed by Monday. This is fish, great fish. Real fish. Great fish. Oh, so everything is chilled. And, uh, oh, this is where they pack uh, it. Oh, I see. This is um, a meat portioning area. And you have a scale here. Yeah, yeah. What's the weight of this? Uh, 200 grams. Yeah. 200, Almost yeah. 300 grams. Uh, no. This one, 298. 298, yeah. Uh, mutton curry is 100 grams. 100 grams. 100 grams. Grams. And 200 grams rice. Right. And a 60 gram mixed vegetable uh, bhaji. Okay. But I want to give them more, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're no always problem. hungry. No problem. No problem. Oh, okay. Give a little bit more. Just be generous. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. Let's see. This one here. 350. 310. Very consistent. It smells very nice. Can I do this? Um, no. So I can eat and then pack, eat but, and pack. But, but working place, working place, no, uh, no, no eating. No eating, no working eating. place. I'll be very fat if I do this. Yeah. Um, um, um. This uh, one holding room. Holding room. Holding room. That's good, man. This one's setting. 
Oh yeah. And then ready to fly. Gulab jamun. Gulab jamun. Gulab jamun. This one hot meal. Uh, this one hot meal for the main dish. Right. And the uh, aromatic rice and uh, mixed vegetable curry and uh, uh, mutton curry. Business class. This is business class. This is business class. This is business class. Oh, this is some fish. This is lemon fish. Lemon fish. Uh, this is pinas. Uh -huh. Sauce and pinas. And a pasta potato. Uh, so go to flight. Uh, this is ready to go to flight. Go to flight. Wow. Yeah, this is the loading truck. Wow. I'm inside a truck now. This is how he's loaded. Look at this. This is inside a catering uh, truck this. driving to the plane. All uh, this and blanket and mandy and a uh, cold food. Everything here. Yeah, water, everything. Uh, everything here. Menu design room. Menu design and this menu planning. Can you show me some of the menus you design? Oh, this is the menu. Menu. Interesting, very interesting. And you have so many signatures. Very yeah. interesting. And this is the most important hygiene. So you should wash hands into the kitchen and out of the kitchen. What's interesting is you have this knee pad here, and then this is where you get water come from. Uh, this is Kaisar Jaman, uh, Chief Engineer Production. This is the Biman Hangar. It, is, uh, it was built in 1990. Uh, this hangar was uh, 10,000 square meters. Uh, this hangar is capable to uh, maintenance uh, one 300 and one 737 at a time. This is a MRO, 145 MRO, and we have the capability up to sea check level of all B1 fleet, 77 uh, aircraft, 777 aircraft, uh, dash 8 aircraft, and 787. It's really great to see woman engineering Beeman Tanger actually. How many female works here, do you know? Almost 10. 10, 10 yeah, females. 10 females. Right. And I'm the only first B1 engineer over here. Oh, amazing. I'm doing on-job training here. I'm a trainee engineer over here on B1. After completing my Yaga 147, I've joined here as a trainee. It's been like almost one and a half years I've been working as a trainee over there. And I just love doing whatever I do. It's every day a new thing, new learning thing. I just love it. It's a dream come true. So here I am in Dhaka, in Bangladesh. I'm actually standing on the rooftop where I was in 2013. And this has got an expansive view of the airport, which is really great for plane spotting.
This is Mr. Jamon. Yes. Five years ago, I came to his house. I'm standing on his rooftop to do plane spotting here. Very nice guy. He let the plane spotter come here and do the spotting and support the aviation here. Well, my trip to Bangladesh was more than amazing. Not only about the aviation, it's all about the people I met here. You guys are so kind and you guys gave me so much support and love and I really felt it in my heart. And I want to wish you guys all the best. Continue to be interested in aviation, strive for where you aim for and continue to motivate yourself to get to the goal you want. Yeah, thanks for coming today. Yeah, thank you. I like your country. I just want to thank you so much for coming today. I understand a lot of you have traveled a long way to come here. I was so moved that are people traveling over 400 kilometers just made it here. It's fantastic to see Bangladesh has so much people into aviation. The passion goes about a lot of things because you're. this is something you like. Sam? Yeah. Okay, it's a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you. When he came into the office today, I instantly recognized him. He hasn't changed much, you know, and I hope you still recognize me. He flew me on my first Beeman DC-10 flight in 2006. And I remember the date, it was nearly Christmas time, it was December 24, and uh, all the way to Jeddah. He was the flight engineer on my flight. It was BG-57, I think, if I remember the flight number. Thank you so much, it's my pleasure to be with you here. I really enjoy my time here, you guys are so kind. Thank you so much Thank for this reception you. here. Thank you, Sam. Sam Chui! Hey, 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 hey. 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 It's been a long time that he goes to Cox Bazaar, Fokker 28. Welcome on board the Beeman 787 Dreamliner. Awesome. I cannot actually express my emotion. I can never thought my first flight would be that much special. Just like an iPhone, you can slide around. Much improved on the Boeing. Welcome on board. Check off the trust. Yes, what is this? This is, is Jamnani print. We're Facebook friends, long time. Your father, Inas Khan, is here with me. They actually have a amenity kit on this flight. Take off speed, we are 156, 157, 162. In the future, of the premium cabin will be like this. You have a mattress you can sleep on like this. So we are going to surprise him. And now I'm going to get Sam. So everybody get prepared, okay? It's for you. This wow. is for you. This is for you! Oh, this is for you! Oh, this is for you! Oh my god, oh my god, this is for you! 30, 20, 10, 5, 